Hey there, today I want to show you one of my very favorite fall transition makeup looks. It's a khaki and peach palette. Um, there's no bronzer in this look, so I am stepping a little bit away from that summer bronzy skin, but the peach still gives it plenty of warmth. So I'm going to be doing this whole look using nothing but my Lazy Perfection Petite Makeup Brushes. There are five brushes in this set. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about them before we get going. The first thing you need to know is that I put two and a half times as many bristles in the heads of these brushes as there are in standard makeup brushes. And that just ensures an incredibly velvety blend to the makeup. They are vegan fibers, but they have the exact same kind of natural tip that a natural brush does. So instead of it being just a blunt cut plasticky feel, it actually feels like a natural hair makeup brush. Um, the other thing I wanted to share is that I put a little bit of a weight in the handle of these brushes so that they balance really nicely in your hands. I wanted them to be much more than just little and adorable, and they are little and adorable, but I also wanted them to be functional. So by putting a little bit of a balance in the handle, they actually feel and operate the same way in your hand that a regular size makeup brush does. All right, so let's move on to this makeup look. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use a little bit of this Beauty Counter Tint Skin Foundation. This actually reminds me quite a bit of the IT Cosmetics CC Cream Foundation. Um, it's just got a really nice kind of buttery texture to it. And then I'm gonna add a couple of drops of this Maya Chia Highlight of the Day. This is, the color is Happy Days and it's kind of an opalescent kind of color and I'm adding just a couple of drops. All right, so I'm gonna take the all over face brush, mix that foundation together and then just start buffing it onto my skin. You don't need a lot of precision when you're using this brush and you actually also don't really need that much makeup because it does spread your makeup around really, really beautifully. I mean, I think I'm done pretty much with blending in my makeup right now. And the wonderful thing about these brushes, and in fact about all of my Jenny Patinkin makeup brushes, is that the quality is so beautiful, you can actually just take them and rub them on a washcloth so that you can switch between products and then they become really multifunctional brushes. So I'm just taking the remainder of the foundation off of this brush so that I can use it again later in my makeup process. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do now is get a little layer of a khaki eyeshadow onto my eye. I'm using this RMS Beauty Swift Shadow. This is the Tobacco Road Grouping and this is TR92. So I'm gonna use the lid and crease brush from my petite set. And I'm gonna start just building this across my lid and then I'm really gonna work it into my socket line. Now these shadows, because they are all natural, they don't have the same dense color payoff that other eyeshadows do. So I do find that it's worth it to build these up a little bit and then blend them down. But you can see already, it's just a really beautiful khaki color. Same thing on the other eye, just start to tap it onto my lid and then really start to work it into my crease. That's where I want more of the depth of the color is in the crease of my eye. All right, but now I'm going to there's, there's gonna be some blending and shape correction coming later, but because this is lazy perfection, I'm not super precise about the way I apply my own makeup. I'm much more precise about the way I apply other people's makeup. But this one for me right now is just kind of I'm slapping it on and then I'll blend it all out later. All right, I'm gonna use a little bit of this Studio 78 Paris eyeshadow number six just to add a tiny bit of brightness to the inner corner of my lid and just across the center of my lid, just to break up the darkness of that khaki shadow a tiny bit. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use the Conceal and Blend brush to start to blend out 
the edges of this color, particularly with a dark color. You want to make sure that you're really softening this ridge of color underneath your brow bone on the top of your socket line. And then I'll be able to correct this outer corner color when I get my concealer on. But before I do concealer, I'm going to do my eyeliner. This is MAC Cosmetics Technical in Uniform. This is the eyeliner I go back to over and over and over again. I absolutely love this color, particularly for blue, green, gray, and hazel eyes. It's like a dark gray green. So I am going to give just a little tension at the outer corner of my eye, and I'm going to start to apply a fairly thick line of this liner. I'm going to soften out the edge of it a little bit later in the process, but this becomes kind of a dramatic, monochromatic kind of look with this thick, dark line. And you can see, again, lazy perfection. I'm not being really careful about how I apply it. There's not a ton of precision. It's mostly for right now about getting that nice thick dark line. So I'm going to use the little line smudge brush from my petite set and I'm just going to soften out the edge of that line so I do get more of a monochromatic look. Okay now I'm going to finish the tops of my eyes before I work on to the bottom of my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. This is a Kevin O'Quan eyelash curler. I really like this one. I alternate between this one and the Surratt Beauty eyelash curler. But this happened to be the one I reached for today. And then I'm going to apply a couple of coats of my Maybelline Full and Soft Mascara. This is my favorite one. I love the size of this applicator. It just fits most people's eyes so perfectly. And I think that it just gives a really nice, soft, fluffy eyelash. And I also find that you can really build layers of this eyeshadow with uh, mascara, not eyeshadow. You can build layers of this mascara without running into too much clumping which is very, very nice. Now, mascara is totally an individual, personal, preference kind of situation. It's a lot about body chemistry, and not every mascara is going to work on everybody because we all have different body chemistry. So what smudges on one person might flake on somebody else. You really just kind of need to experiment and play with your mascara. But this is the one that I use most regularly. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little concealer under my eyes. This is Amazing Cosmetics Hydrate Concealer. I love this one because it's really creamy and you need very little product. I mean, you can see I'm using so little. I'm gonna dab it on that monster that's growing on my chin and the remnants of an old one on my lip. Just tapping those in. But for under my eyes, I'm gonna use, actually I'm gonna use the Smoke and Define brush from my Petite Set. I'm definitely not a makeup artist who feels strongly about using your products only in a certain way. If it works for you, great. That's how you should use it. Don't let anybody tell you that you can only use one product one way or for one purpose. You should absolutely feel free to experiment and use your brushes and your products any way that makes you feel like you're getting a great result. Okay, I'm going to finish up underneath my eyes, going back in with my MAC Technical Liner, and I'm going about halfway across my eye, and I'm actually also going to tight line with this. So tight lining is when you apply a dark color underneath the upper lash line. So you can see the roots of my lashes on this eye are looking a little bit thicker and darker. It just gives a little bit more drama and a little bit more definition to the shape of the eye. And sometimes when you curl your lashes, it can pick up a little bit of your liner. So I'm just touching up there to make sure that there isn't a gap between my liner and my lash line. All right, so now I'm going to go back with the line and smudge brush 
and I'm just going to set a little bit on top of the liner underneath my eyes. This gives extra wear time because the creamy pencil and the powder grip together. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to do one more layer of mascara on my upper lashes just because I'm a big fan of two to three coats of mascara. And then without re-dipping, I'm going to do my lower lashes. And the reason I don't go straight from the applicator onto my lower lashes is because there's a high probability that you're going to get clumping and that just doesn't look pretty. I mean, there's a time and a place for a clumpy lower lash and it definitely can look very sexy, but for this look, I just want to keep it sort of fringy. All right, so I'm going to use my Anastasia Brow Wiz eye pencil, eyebrow pencil. I am really lazy about the way I do my eyebrows. I'm really only filling in where I have a little bit of patchiness and filling in at the tail of my brow. I don't want them too dark. And frankly, I'm just too lazy to get a really precise shape. It's just not where I want to spend my time. So I'm really just kind of doing the minimum just to make sure that my brows don't look unkempt and I, I could definitely pay a little bit more attention to my brows and getting them groomed and pretty looking but as I said it's not really where I like to spend my time okay just combing them up into place all right so now I'm gonna use this well people bio bronzer stick but I'm not really using it as a bronzer I'm using it just to give a little bit of a shape to my face. I mean, you can call it contour. It's not really contour because I'm using it in a pretty subtle way, but it really just sort of pops the cheekbones and makes the bone structure look, makes your whole face look narrower. So I'm gonna use the same all over face brush and just blend in the product. This is going right underneath my cheekbone. I'm giving a little bit of shape on my temple, around my hairline, and really this, oh, and on the tip of my nose, because I feel like the tip of my nose is kind of long, um, so I feel like that kind of picks it up a bit. So that's about it for shaping on my face, and again, I'm not calling it contouring. It's not like anything hardcore, but I guess technically, it is contouring. I'm just not calling it that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my Care Weiss blush in Sun Touched. Sun, yeah, Sun Touched. I love this color. I've been using this color for a number of years, and I just think it's a really lovely pinky peach or peachy pink. It's not orange, it's not coral. It's just kind of warm and pretty. So I'm putting that on my cheekbone, on the plane of my cheek, but I am blending it off onto the apple of my cheek, just because I think it gives a fresh look to do it like that. Sometimes I will just go onto the angles of my cheeks, the planes of my cheeks, um, but it's a bit more of a dramatic look to do it like that. So this is just kind of fresh for every day. Now I did add some radiance into my complexion when I added the Maya Chia highlight of the day, but I'm gonna get just a little bit more of a dewy finish by using this Glossier Halo Scope product in quartz. Hope you can see that. It's just so pretty and dewy and it really gives your whole complexion of the look of hydration. And this, the, there's no visible shimmer particles in this product. So if you've got fine lines and wrinkles on the tops of your cheeks, you can still use this product and it's not gonna call attention to them like a powder highlighter or a sparkly highlighter might. All right, so I'm also gonna take my pinky and dab a little of this into the corner of each of my eyes. I'm gonna put a little bit on the tip of my nose just to try and get a little more lift to that long tip. I'm gonna put it on the bow of my lips I like to dab a little in the center of my lower lip also just because I think it gives lip color a little pop. 
sorry, runny nose. Um, and I'm wiping it with my thumb. That is not hygienic. Don't do that. <laughs> um, okay, and now I'm gonna finish up with my Edward Bess Lipstick in Lotus Bloom. These are so silky. This is just a peachy nude color. I don't want too strong of a color. It's kind of, it's kind of a milky color, so it looks um, a little bit too pale if you go over it in a really strong way. So I'm just tapping it onto my lips. And that is my Lazy Perfection Petite Peach and Khaki Fall Transition Look. Hope you liked it. Bye.